excited. Welcome back. Um, what I have done is I've, I've pondered over my head, uh, laying, laying down in the bed with Jolene, thinking about the car. That's what I do. I generally take my brain on what I'm doing. And I got thinking about the back window and how I said yesterday, you know, look, that would be the easy way out. And I was thinking, wow, that's, that's who you are. That's who I am. The easy, like, I mean, do it the, you know, let's face it, uh, to do it the easy way. Uh, we've got the front window figured out, or I, I think I do. I hope, I hope that um, what I suggested or my, my plan to make a window, I hope that, you know, I hope that it can help other people do their windows or whatever, you know, if you're using a piece of plexiglass for something. Plexiglass, I'm sorry, I, I was told that it was pronounced with an L. Jolene mentioned that last night. She said, you know, plexi, plexiglass is pronounced with an L. And I'm just saying it. <laughs> the way I say it, it's plexiglass, plexiglass, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. You can laugh at me. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm making you laugh, you're having a good time. Have it on me. It does not matter. But anyways, as I get thinking about the back window, the, I think the back window is fine. I like it. I think This is what I obviously thought too. I think it's going to be a lot more work to make this in the back and, and get that going, cut this and pull that back. Um, I do like... I like the, the square window. I think the square window goes with this square window. And uh, basically, it seems pretty basic and pretty easy with the sail panel. I get that shape I want there. And also, um, I am customizing the car. Why would I not customize the back window? Why would I not? So basically, what I've done is I've stripped that all down, the square window. I stripped it all down with the stripper wheel. Jolene started it. I finished it. I want to thank her for her help. And uh, I guess people on Facebook are commenting about her hair. And uh, I'll pull her hair. <laughs> when I join. Ah, anyways, we won't go there. Um, yeah, so what, basically what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put it in. And I'm going to do it right in front of your very eyes. These are the two pieces, sail panel pieces that I made for the pattern. I've got it stripped down with the wheel. What I'm using on the drill is a, is a stripper wheel. I think they work fantastic, but it just seems like the price keeps going up and up and up. I must say that because one time they were $11, now they're $18. I think it was 40 some dollars for two of these. Wow. Um, I must be using too many of them. So what I'm going to do is I got the back window on there basically where I want it. Um, you can see, you can see uh, the window is right here. And I've got the window down there. So we're basically in this... At these, spot where it needs to be. I can't see anything wrong with it, not at all. I enjoyed it yesterday, so I'm going to, I'm going to slap it in there because um, I think it's the quickest way to do it. And what else? Um, I like it. Uh, it's got a better flow. I think it's less work than cutting this and bringing it back. Yes, I can, but I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to weld this back window in there and make two new sail panels, and then the window is done with. <clears throat> I'm hoping. So I've got it stripped off. Basically what I'm going to do right now is get in there. I drew a line. I drew a line where it's setting nice so I can see where I want to grind it. And I got a line up there where I want to where I want to knock the primer off this. And uh, let's see let's see what we got underneath the primer there. Let's find out what we have. I'm pretty sure that we just got metal there. I made a whole new back piece. I'm thinking it's just all nice new metal. So I'm going to go with it. There should there's got to be a little bit of filler on there cuz I welded it on there. Let's, let's, let's clean it off and see what we got. Just mark the line so I know where to grind the primer off, that's all. Yeah, that's the easy way out, and that, that explained it to me. That's why I should do it, because I think this is an easier way than, than doing the, 
making the Bach for the window. I think this is easier. Getting some filler now. Dry ball, sweetheart. Mm. I was going to take the window, the, the piece that we have, I was going to put it in here and weld it right along there. But I have one, two, three, four, five holes over there. I gotta weld them holes up and grind them off. So I'm just gonna bring it up and weld it up there because I'm gonna have to fill them holes anywhere. Anyways, I just think that's gonna be, I just think it's gonna be easier. And any way I do it, whatever which way I weld it on there, I'm still gonna have to fill it to make it work right. So basically I'm thinking just to go over and cover the holes. That way you don't have to weld the holes up. Beautiful. Almost as beautiful as Jolene is. Me and Jolene had a great morning this morning. We both woke up very happy. Yeah, give me baby, huh? It's Remembrance Day. And uh, what I'm going to say is that um, I couldn't imagine being back there at that time. And for us, for everybody, for all of us in the world right now today, thinking that we're having a rough time, I'm sure it was rougher for them than it is us. So if you're healthy, you should be happy. Filler now.
already. So pretty well got her cleaned up where I want it, take it off. <clears throat> you can get that primer, that primer's good stuff. Good stuff, love that stuff. It makes everything look much better. I'm gonna get a rag. Whew. We've got the heat on, so you know it's getting serious here at the shop when we got the heat on. It's getting serious. The reason I say it's getting serious because heat, heat costs money. Heat costs money. So basically what I gotta do is I gotta center that window up, center it up, we'll tack it in one spot, we'll get it in center, and then we'll go along, see where it looks best. Alrighty. So what I did is I measured the window itself, I did measure the cut part, and what I mean by the cut part of here to there, I measured the window and got the center. And I still got the center mark on the car, Jolene helped me do that yesterday. that now. I'm going to take it over a little bit. Alrighty. I'm going to say that that center I'm just going to tack it in the center so it can't take off and then I'll go this way after. So I'll put one tack in the center so it can't move anywheres. I've got the window hard down. I got the window, uh, there's a little lip inside here where it holds the window. It's hard down on the window that we have, or the piece that I had in there already that I wanted to move back, that's hard down. This piece here is probably an inch or two down from the top of the window where it was before, so I should be fine. <sighs> no, I'm actually uh, better than fine. I'm quite happy this morning. Quite happy this morning. I'm um, coming up with the with the covering the plexiglass with the the vinyl wrap uh, makes me makes me excited about doing it because it's a, it's a way that I can that it's a way that I can continue on and feel happy about things, you know. Uh, and I guess I have to say something else when when I'm thinking of. The, the plastic on the outside of the plastic vinyl wrap on the outside of the plexiglass. I'm going to try to say it slow. No, I'm not going to do it all. Plexiglass. <laughs> Don't have to change a bit. Anyways, when I, when I put the vinyl wrap, the, the plastic wrap on the outside of the plexiglass, isn't, isn't that going to, like, in my brain, it's going to help the plexiglass become safety glass. Um, the reason safety glass is safe because it has that plastic on the inside which keeps the glass together. If I put the plastic on the outside of the glass, it, to me it should do the exact same thing. And the reason I say that is because, you know, the reason I say that is because when, when I, you know, I'm building this car and uh, the drive shaft is underneath the tunnel. Well, we were at Bernie's place and it had another car where the drive shaft was inside the car, was it not, sweetheart? You know, it, you know, there's more, like it's more than one way to skin a cat. And I feel that um, having that layer of vinyl plastic on the outside is just as good as having it on the inside, you know? And that's, and that's why I always say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And, uh, if I can put it on the outside and make my plexiglass safety glass by applying plastic, I mean, that's the difference, is it not? Um, the pl there's plastic inside the windshield, the glass to hold it together. So I'm saying that the plastic on the outside of the plexiglass is gonna hold it together. And I really feel like there's no big difference other than it's my idea. <laughs> Alrighty, got the gas on, probably not. All right, now what I'm gonna do now is I wanna to try to center it. It doesn't, I have, there's a hole on this side, on right there, there's a hole right there. I just wanna go see if the other side has the hole on it, and then I'll, then I'll know if I'm sort of in the right spot or not. Oh yeah, oh yeah.
I think I'd like to tack that down there. because that. And we took the tape and went across the top. So we know the top line is straight because I put the tape along there and cut, zip, cut it that tape the same. I'm going to go over here, sweetheart. Hold. Fina wants to come in. I'm going to let her in. I'm sorry. But I got to. She, she's my dog and she's barking to come in. I got to let her in. Come on in, Fina. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It is so. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this in. I'm going to make it as you know, straight as possible. Then probably what I'll do is I'll carry on to something else. I have another project I want to do. Also, I'm thinking about the, the front window thing. I might, I might just make our own oven. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I really don't. Grab an old... Here we go. I don't think it's a big deal. I'm going to put this on the other side because... I want to go the other side first for some reason. That's where I've always been for most of my time on this one. There we go, right at the edge of the hole. Right at the edge of the hole. Same on the other side. It's gonna attack it. Oh, this is, oh, got to stop that right now. Can't do that. I have a back seat in there. <laughs> that's looking for a fire, what that's looking for. And I got to pull that out. Sorry, sweetheart. I got to pull that out. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I should have pulled it out before I got the window out is what I should have done. Before I put the window in. That's what I should have done, but I didn't. Got to be careful on this sort of stuff. When I was welding the window in, I was looking at it and noticed that there were some leaves in here, and their leaves were on fire. They were. Seats are in good shape. <laughs> A little sun roached. Just got this stuff stuck in there because it's what I have. Ba 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 ba. I have some stuff inside the trunk, I see. Stainless for the front window. This is where sometimes you get in a, you get in a mess when you have all this stuff hanging around the shop. Man, you can sure mess your shop up in a hurry. And what I mean by mess it up is have a lot of junk in it. That stuff is so dry, I'm just looking for a fire. And that's not one thing I want is a fire. If you're, if you're welding on your car or anywhere at all, if you're, if you're new or whatever, you should stay with your car for at least a half hour after you're done welding. You know, just keep, keep an eye on it because it's, it's so quick to go up. I gotta get rid of the mouse house. There's a mouse living in there. Here we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. I'm feeling a lot better about things now. There's still some dirt in there, obviously, yes, but nothing that's going to catch on fire too drastic. Let's go for it again. Shut the door. Just want to make sure she's straight in there. That's all. So I'm feeling that Jolene's probably going to weld the window in. Got two tacks on it. I'm saying you can't move it now, so I'm going to go to the other side and just make sure it's another bench here. Fantastic job for Jolene. Once I get it welded in, she knows how to weld it. Don't you, sweetheart? Uh, you know how to weld it. You won't warp the roof, will you? Huh? You won't warp the roof. My baby knows how to do it. I'm gonna hold that in there like that, why not? I like it. Yeah, I guess. 
a great one. Really want to take our time welding this into. Do not want to warp the roof. There's nothing been nothing. There's been no cut marks on the roof whatsoever. I just, when I cut it off, I just slid it forward. And if I would have had the glass, I, I would have put it in, but I didn't, so I, I didn't. gloves on. Sorry, sweetheart, I got you going around in circles, I know. But I'm going around in circles most of the time myself anyway, so the sun is shining. And also, with this window, <laughs> I can go back to saying I use what I have, <laughs> right? <laughs> use what I have. I think it's going to be... Nice and tight and right. going with it I guess that says it all right there I'm going with it I got it tacked in there and uh as long as it looks good to the eye I guess that's all that matters, I guess, if it looks good to the eye, because if it looks good to the eye, it must be okay. Uh, we got two of these. And I, I think I cut them exactly the same, just for, because, why not? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, just take one of them and make a pattern, piece of metal. You know the drill. We take a, a pattern out of a piece of paper, and then we do the exact same thing we always do. We transfer it to a piece of metal. What's that, sweetheart? That's right. Clean this off. Just wiping off some stuff. We're going to go with that right there. Yeah, said to myself, yeah, it's an easy way to do it. Why not? And it's something different than somebody else has, you know. Um, not everybody's going to have a mailbox window in the back of their 56 Merc. No, they're not. A little bit shy. Probably could use it, but... I'm going to cut that one out first, I guess. I'm going to use that, this little thing, works It works good, it's not a real good big nice corner machine or nothing, but um, it's doing the trick, it's not warping everything up, the metal's a little bit big to run in the, the Beverly shear, so I'll do it with that. It performed a nice job in the window. We also, just a, I'll cut this and then we'll go look at the window for a second.
It's amazing how that work, how it works so nice when it's... I can, I can see it not working good when it's dull, but when it's sharp, it sure does work some nice. Got my glasses over here. And also, on this project, I don't have to please really anybody except myself, you know, me and Jolene, you know. We're the ones gonna be we're the ones gonna be sitting in it as we run there down the road. Not bad, there's one. I'm using 18 gauge. That's seen what I always seem to use. I, I enjoy it just of the thickness of a, a gas. Um. Get that off there. That's the longest, straightest line, so I'm gonna use it on that edge. Gotta thank the, the fan that sent these markers. They're fantastic. They do a great job. And it was a great gift. So is so is this little shear here. Great gift. Thank you very much. Just <laughs> crazy how that slides there through there. Nice, eh? It slides through some nice. Come over here and cut it all off. I like that I can control it with the trigger and make it go fast or slow or whatever I want. There's one thing that's not the fantastic about it is when you come to a stop here like that, it's hard to. <clears throat> We're just knock that off. That's the part that I'm not enjoy about it too that much. Is that right there? What a relaxing day! I feel right relaxed. Nice. Well, maybe not after that. Just cutting this part off. The little pigtails are the. Beautiful. Beautiful, I say. You are Jolene. Jolene's. I'm going to have to straighten that out with a hammer. Give her a little tap, a little love tap. A little love tap. Yeah, I, I like the back window. Why not? Why not? Make a sail pan. Let's make a. Let's make this fan. Alrighty, I'm gonna go over to the roller. You can do this any way you want to. If you want to take it and put it through the through the English wheel and do it that way, you can. Um, but I, I I enjoy the roller, and if I need a little shape to it, I can bang it. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna get a piece of metal and try it before I go through there, I think, just so I know. We'll use this piece, just so I know how much I'm rolling. Love it. Looks good. Now, I'm gonna actually, where I'm right here, I might as well. Do this one.
And if I don't get it right, I can do it again. that down <clears throat> yeah I think I'm gonna go with it I think I'm gonna go with it no so what I'm gonna do is this here piece has to go over and touch that I want that to go there I want that to go tight on there So we just want that straight right there. It just kind of makes it look better. Just trying to make that line a little straighter there. It's going to be covered with the chrome, with the stainless anyways, but... Um, I'm going to cut that with a zip cut after. I'll get this tacked on, start going up through there, and then I'll... I'll cut that after so it meets up with that exactly. So it looks nice. Basically, so it looks nice. Alrighty, I'm gonna shear that off. I think what I'll do is I'll zip cut that off. It'll probably be the easiest tool to use to get it straight and get that cut off. If I try to start using the shear and get that going, it might not work as good. And also the little pair of cutters up there, they might not do the job that I want either. And I know that the zip cut will do the job. So that's what I'm gonna use. So basically, if you, any, any window that you wanna put in your car, you can see how I'm doing it. You can do the exact same thing. Exact same thing if you've got no glass or you want glass or whatever you want, you can do the exact same thing. I'm liking the flow much better. I'm liking the flow much better. Also, I'm cutting down on labor, <laughs> cutting down on labor. One nice thing about Turn the welder back on. And there's no big rocket science about doing that sail panel either. Like I made a paper pattern. I'm following the paper pattern that I have and I'm going for it. There gets my blue hat all dirty. My nice new blue hat gonna get dirty. Didn't want that to get dirty, but I guess that's, that's what happens when you work in a, in a, in a shop. Your hat gets dirty. I'm going to tack that on there. Because it's butt welded right there, I'm going to tack it in a little. And I just want to get this line straight going up here so it makes me happy. Beautiful. 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 You are, Jolene. Beautiful, you are. Ooh, get a little close. The stainless is going to go over top of that part, so I'm happy with that. Get my third arm here. I'm saying that's in the right spot. I don't mind that. But what I want it to do is I want it to match up here nice. Um, I might as well throw a few tacks on that. Beautiful.
little bit of primer there. Awesome. Just going to get it tacked in place. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to push it down. Push it down up here and find out. There's what I want to find out. Right there. That's what I want to find out. I want to find out where I'm going to cut it and where it lines up the best. That's just so when I push it down, it goes, it goes right on that piece. That's all. That's all. So now, cut that off. And I would rather, I would rather uh, lap that there. It makes it stronger than butt welding. Yes, I could butt weld that and cut that all out. There's an inner construction in there. And, and it would end up taking away, I think, if I cut that out. I want to leave that inside construction. Just going to... that a little better. I'm going to take and cut that off just to make it a little better. And all it does, I got a little crook going on there. It'll just look better when it's welded on, that's all. Need to get up on the step stool yet? I don't. Just trying to make it tight as fit as possible. Got to hold down on it so it... So it don't bang on me. Beautiful. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. Beautiful you are. Making sure. Trying to get it fit best we can. Watch yourself, baby. Just going to take a look here. I'm going to go. I cannot see. I cannot see the piece of metal that I'm, 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 I'm up over on top of this now. I cannot see that metal underneath there. So I'm going to zip cut with this line here just so I play it safe. And the piece underneath will drop off. I know the is going up like on, on, like on an angle there. It could go up straight with the piece I had, but 
I can't see where that bottom piece is, so I'm going to go with the top piece. I'm just going to zip cut it and uh, butt weld that together. together and I just like holding it with my hand it's just as easy as anything to hold your hand to know if it's flush or not all right I got a little tack up here I gotta knock it off in the corner because it won't come off and what I do We got progress. It's nice there. I'm going to attack it. That was nice. I'm counting on this little flat part to hold it flush, which it is. Just want a little more gap there, that's all. Just want a little more gap. Beautiful you are, don't you, Jolene, huh? Let's huh? get up here like that. Get behind it a little bit here, we get down. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Weezy, he'll say, go easy. Right on. Gorgeous.
Awesome. Just want to push that one in a little bit there. And basically, we'll spot that one spot at a time all the way across. Another spot over here, just banging it in so it's tight. Tight and right. Wonderful. Alrighty. Looks good to me. We'll have to put a little skim of fill across the top of this, probably about like that big across the back of her. We're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, if you weld the roof up, you're gonna have to fill it out anyways. You're gonna have to fill it out a little bit anyway, so I'm not scared of that. That makes me happy. So I'm gonna drag it to the other side. I got another piece I gotta cut. Yeah. Cool. You likey? Awesome. Awesome. That feels good. It's in there nice. And I like, <laughs> I like that. I keep saying that. I'm going to take the welder to the other side, I think, just make it easier. And all dirty. So if you see something that you have and you have it around your shop, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna help you out, get the job done. Go for it. Make yourself happy. This is gonna make me happy to have the back window put in it. Um, I'd have to go through a lot of process. I'm gonna do the front glass, like I said. I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. I was very happy with that. I still am happy about it. But I'm thinking that I wanted, I want to make my own little oven. I'm, what I'm thinking also is the 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 plexiglass or whatever you want to call it. Pepsi glass? <laughs> but anyways, I'm thinking that it's, that what I'm going to do is, I said yesterday, 250, I'm going to heat it up to 250 to, for, for two hours, and I'm not going to try to clamp it down and hold it that way. I'm going to try to heat it up long enough that it works. Uh, also, um, there's a lot of people saying Lexan. Lexan is, is actually shatterproof but it's it's hard to it's hard to deal with when it comes to heating it when you heat it i've heated lexan before and what happens is is it bubbles and uh, we can't have bubbles in our windshield no we can't and also where i'm adding the plastic to the plexiglass i'm thinking that that is going to make it safe safer and uh, that's what they call safety, gla safety glass. It's got plastic in the middle of it. Uh, I can't see any difference in me putting plastic on the outside of it. That's where my brain's at. And also, the Lexan I know is shatterproof, but it does not heat well. It gets bubbles in it, and uh, it's, that's basically it. It don't, it don't act well when it comes to heating it. It does not act well. Yeah, it's gonna take much at all, eh? Not much at all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, that goes that way. Uh, hmm, no, goes that way. I just have to roll this right. I have to make sure I get it rolled right. Here we 
we go. Exact same piece as the other side. And I'm liking it just like I like the other side. Gorgeous! 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 Gorgeous, I say. Gorgeous. Alrighty. When you cut, like when you're doing these back window things, I guess, um, to just, just making your patterns or making the metal fit together nice, does a nicer job. You can over you can overlap it there. You can butt weld it there. You can do whatever you want. But just as long as you're making panels, and to make it look nice, instead of making little pieces here and there, if you make a nice pattern and uh, make a nice panel, it can really work out for you really nice. And that's what's going on right at the present moment. It's going good. It's going good. Bum, 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 bum. All righty. Still got to straighten this out yet, so. Try to get it straight down that line, probably, best they can. Turn that on, can you hear it? Can't hear it. Nope. Thanks, Weedy! Thanks, Weedy! All right. I just want it to run up straight on that. That's why it looks good when it's run straight on that. I took it off, didn't I? Huh? Yeah, got it. liking it all. Just want to make sure she's tight. Tight and right. Tack it around here because it looks looks so good. Mm, da, 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 da. That's not affecting that any. That's why I'm just looking for it. It's gonna affect that. It's not. If 
You'll like welding that up, Jolene. You know why? Because the metal's clean. Metal's clean. Let's do this. And the reason I'm cutting it up top here is I wanted to cut like the other side. I just want it to match up, that's all, and look good. Match up and look good. Just a basic cut there. Got a little metal underneath there. I want that in there. Hold me up. Let me get tight. Here we go. Alrighty. the cord off. Alrighty. Pull this ground back up again. I'll knock those two together and it'll be a fantastic day. Hammer. Just want to
might have zapped that on a little quick, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Oop, gonna get that out of there. Might have went the wrong one first, I'm not sure. Gotta hold it till the red goes away. There we go. If anybody doesn't know, Gene Winfield has his reactor for sale, and that's that famous it's a famous car that he had. It was in the show called Bewitched, Star Trek. From what I understand, he has it for sale. And if I had five hundred thousand dollars, I'd buy it from you, Gene. Not a problem at all, I would. If I had it, if I had it to throw away, or not throw away, but if I had it, I'd buy it from you. Yes, I would. And I'd look after it. Car needs to go in a museum somewhere, really. To me, it does. Now, I'm going to cut that again. that again put that tighter yep just a little There's where I want it. There's where I want it. but it's just a little bit better. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. More good news. Jim got his car running. Uh, he figured out the... 
figured out the carburetor. He didn't even use the carburetor that I sent him. He figured it out. Good for Jimbo. Good for Jimbo. I think it was a, a float issue. That's what I think it was, a float issue. Oh, easy daisy, chet it. Oh. a little hole there I did. That's all right. That's all right, all right, all right. Zip that a little bit in there. Here we go. With when I'm doing this, with no gap and it comes flush together when I weld it, it's, it's not really penetration, it's not penetration all the way through, it's not, so if you ground it off, you wouldn't have much. If I've got gap, then I know I've got penetration where it goes down through the metal, but if I fit that metal just tight, just tight as can be and then weld on top of it, that's the exact same thing as laying your metal together and having a piece of weld on top, and then you grind it off. It's, it's not gonna be penetrated all the way through that. If it is, you're, you're, you're putting their heat right to it and you're gonna end up warping it, but I find it's nice to get a little bit of gap so there's penetration if there's no gap there's no penetration The reason I lapped it up there, it's stronger. It is if I and then if I cut that butt weld that way across there, I got an inner construction alone there. Just make a big old mess it would. So I think it would anyways. Plus I had those holes up there that I had to fill. So why not kill two birds with one stone? Just weld the piece across. Beautiful. I'm loving it. I want to knock this down just a little bit. It's going to be welded in one spot at a time. That's the way it works. Also, also, <laughs> also, when I when I weld this on here, or I'm going to tell Jolene as I tell you, uh, when we weld this on here, I want to start the weld the 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 puddle. I want to have most of the puddle on this side because this this is 18 gauge laying on here. So I, when I cut, weld it off or grind it off. I want most of the weld on this side of the cut line. 
that, that there, there doesn't matter, but when I weld it, most of the weld on the roof part and then laid over to the other side. That way there it gives you something to grind. Beautiful. I love it. Throw that over there. Put a couple of tacks on that side. And uh, there's a welding project for Jolene. Looks good. Happy with it. Happy. We don't want to warp the roof up, so we'll take our time on that one and just do a real nice job. So, I'll pull that off. Come back and take a look at our new, and I even bring it back just a little bit further this time because I put that round rod on there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to be very happy with that. Also, I'm going to be putting these on. I'm not going to make it look like a stainless on there. Stuck that in there for a bit. I'm going to put them on. Stoked. Looks good. Very happy. It's in the center. Both pieces look the same. Awesome. Awesome. And we will know whose car it is by the back window. Ha ha! Won't we? Huh? How long have we been? Wow. I, I went, I'm calm today, you know, rushing around. Man, I'm just calm as a kitten. Calm as a kitten. Tough titty, said the kitty with no milk. Yeah, so that's basically I, I laid in bed last night and said to myself, that's what, I, that's what I'm known for is taking, you know, doing the easiest route as possible and grabbing and using what I have. But it was nice to try to figure out how to make a window for this and come up with something that I think is going to be, you know, I think it's really going to actually help a lot of people um, to make their front window or make a window for their car. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's good. And like I said, I do not like the, I, I like Lexan. I have used it. We used it in the Pinto because a lot of that car was flat. Um, we, you know, it was flat and the window and the doors, you know, that's what we use. We use Lexan, but on, on, when you're shaping something, um, plexiglass for me is the way to roll. And when, when I'm putting the plastic on it, I think that I am making a piece of safety glass. I mean, just because they have the, the plastic on the inside doesn't mean I can't put it on the outside. And far as that goes, I can put it on the inside and the outside and have two pieces of plastic on my windshield, which I feel will make it safer than anything. Um, the back, the back is went in really nice. I uh, didn't really have to do much to the sail panels. It's just, it was just an easy pattern of a piece of paper. Uh, and, and I think the window's out of a Model A, I think. I'm not sure. I like, this is what I, I, I said, the back window kind of reminds me of the side window. And also, the win I said there's no, I have no glass for this car. And uh, someone was saying the back window does not come out. You're right, it, it comes out, but it does not go down. Uh, it, it, I've actually taken a hard top and made it a two-door post. And uh, the reason being is because I had no glass, no winders, no nothing. And I did what I, you know, I did what I always do. I 
work with what I have. And uh, the glass on the side door here will come up and down, no problem at all, but this will be stationary glass with whatever. Um, and we'll just keep on rolling with it. But I'm happy I got that in there. Jolene will, t you know, Jolene will weld that up. I think she'll do, a I know she will do a fantastic job. I know she will. Yeah, very happy with it. I can polish that up and make it look real nice. Let's give away a hat or a shirt and thank everybody for all the comments and everything. And also, I think the front window looks good with the, with, the, with the metal in it. But I think I want to make my own oven because I feel like this will not be the last time that I want to make a window for a car. That's what I feel. It's not going to be the last time. So I should have something to heat the glass up itself. And then I can make it glass whenever I want to. And I'm thinking the temperature is going to be 250 for two hours. That's what I'm thinking. Something like that. And I'm going to cook it until it stays in place. I'm not going to cook it and try to clamp it down on that window, not at all. I want it to um, fit the way it's supposed to. When it comes time, when I get the, the window shaped and uh, have the plexiglass in place, it's going to be so nice to be able to fit that into a rubber and then put the, win the window in the car like a, a real window and have it in place. Um, to, you know, to screw something in and to glue it and glue the rubbers on. To me, that seems like a mess. It, it would be a mess. It would be, you know, sort of cobbled up mess. And if I can make that piece of glass fit a rubber and go in the window the way it's supposed to, um, it would be, it would be fantastic. I'll be very, I'll be over the moon. Also, um, with, like I said, with them chops, the window that you, the original window that you have anyways, would ha you'd be, have a hard time because, I, like I said, every time someone, you know, you do a car like that, usually then posts come in a little bit and you're beating them and pounding them, taking them out of place a little bit. That means that the original window would not fit. Th that's exactly what it means. You can cut it all you want to, but it's still really not going to fit right. If I get that glass made the way I want to and get it to go into a rubber and then put the rubber in the car, it's, I'm going to be way farther ahead. 635 comments. We want to thank everybody for watching and c continuing on. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, everybody uh, is inspired to know that they can do the glass on their car just as well as I'm going to. And uh, we'll show the process. We'll see if I can get an oven made. Douglas F Feller? Douglas Feller. They're a pain, uh, no, they're a pain, but I really love wrap around windshields they really make the 50s look <laughs> you, they really do they make the 50s look but what i'm doing is I, I think i explained it earlier on the video i'm taking the easy way and i'm shutting down a bunch of work because i'm, I'm doing actually going to do a bunch of work to the front window and basically that's what i want i want to get that front window done I'm, i'll be happy with that on the back i kept looking at it kept looking at it and kept looking at it it looks it looks I think it looks awesome. I have, I have no problem with it. Um, the wraparound glass, um, if I had it, when I started, the ch when I had the chop, I probably would have went a little different way. But where I don't have the glass and it's made me become creative, that's who I am. That's who I am right there. I, I become creative and I took a back window that was out there in the junk pile and I made it work just like anybody else can do. So basically, I'm showing you that you can put any window in your car any the way you want to. Uh, when I continue on, you're going to see a lot of more stuff that's going to, you're going to say, ooh, I don't, I don't, you know, you're, it's going to affect you a little bit. Um, but I'm doing what I have to do to get it done, you know. And uh, when the car is done, I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be Elvis all over. Um, yeah. And as I go, I change my mind all the time. So as you can tell by the back window. It looks fantastic. I'm, I'm very happy with it, and I'll be the only one around with that window in the back. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. You get a hat or a shirt of your choice, Douglas Feller. Um, thank you for commenting, and if you want a hat or a shirt, you have to throw a comment out there. And basically, I, I would, yeah. whatever you write is the person you are. So remember that as you, as you write stuff down. It's, it's right there for documentation till the end of time, probably, on that old computer. So whatever you write is who you are. I mean, basically, that's it. And uh, have a good one, and I appreciate your time you spend with us. Thanks.